So watch what I'm going to do. Two, Uruzuki, palm up. One. So two of those. Yep. And then two vertical punches. But make sure you've got a full hikite. Two. Excellent. And then two full punches. Three. So from here, just easy, use your hips, use your legs, keep your shoulders relaxed, keep your chin in, push the crown of your head up, push your stomach down, stretch your spine. From here, all six techniques, Hajime, nice and slowly. So this is the three distances of a straight punch. Dig, so when you're in close, dig. We're gonna do a self-defense technique combination later. Palm up, dig. Vertical, arms slightly bent. And then full zuki, full punch. Long position, medium, close. Go! <laughs> Now watch, I'm going to slow it down now. I'm using my hips and legs. Go. One more slowly. Go. Hips and legs, guys. Keep the shoulders down now. That was excellent. Go on to go. Great. Okay, so we're going to be working on the same three arm techniques, but this time using the legs as well. So moving forward. So from natural stance, you're going to step forward. I'm going to use my right leg first. I'm going to step forward with the right leg and punch Urazuki. So again, it's the same three techniques that Sensei Huckle was working on. Just for now, getting the legs and the arms coordinated. Step forward with the right leg and punch Urazuki with the right arm, one. And back to, same thing with the left. So Uruzuki, left arm, left leg, one. And back to, so to the second technique, the Tatsuzuki. So remember the Ura, the dig, Tatsuzuki that little bit further. So right leg, Tatsuzuki in, one. And back to, same with the left, one. And back two. And then the third and final one on the spot, the Chokazuki, the straight punch, we're gonna work on Kazamazuki. So stepping forward with the right side and punching Kazamazuki, one. And back two. And the last one with the left, one. And back two. Okay, good. So the first point we're working on with this sequence, guys, is when you step forward, it's with a bend and a drive. So for instance, I don't want to see this, where you're toppling and falling into the technique. So if I go slow, you bend, bend, and push forward. So I never want to see the head going first. Bend and hit. So right arm, right leg. Uruzuki working on the drop and driving through the back leg. One. And back two. So now with the left, so remember, you bend. Bend and push in. One. So remember, this is the Uruzuki now. Like an upper cuffs coming up. And back two. Second one is the Tatsuzuki. So again, no matter what the arms do, no matter what the upper body does, the legs remain the same. So you drop and drive in. Tatsuzuki. Tatsuzuki. One. And back two. Same with the left. Bend and drive. One. 
and back two. And then the full punch. So extend this as you hit again, dry and punch. One. And back two. And with the left. One. And back two. Good. Okay, it's great to see some of you are already doing this. The second point. You may have noticed when I'm punching now, as I step forward, my body is rotating. So when I start in natural stance, both of my shoulders, both of my hips, a square going straight. But as I step forward and hit with the right, I'm driving my right side in. So I'm pushing through the left. I'm also driving my right side in as I make that hit. So now when you step forward, when my right leg is forward, my right hip and my right chest are in as I make the strike. So don't forget about the legs. You still bend, you still push. But now we're starting to add the hips at the end of the strike. So right side in. Urazuki, one. Okay, good. So remember, when though we're driving the hip, if I exaggerate, don't let something like this happen. See how my backside is sticking out? So the feeling must always be forward, not out to the side, forward. And back two. So left side, so you bend, you drive through the right leg, and you drive the right, left hip in. One. And back two. So the same thing, you bend, you drive, you hit with the tatsuki again. Hips, chest, shoulders, side on with the tatsuki. One. And back two. Bend, drive, left side in. One. And back two. And then with the Kazamazuki. So get this full rotation now as you hit. Kazamazuki. One. Yeah, very good. And back two. So drop, drive, and hit. One. Okay, good. And just while we're here on this angle, check. This hikisei arm now, so I don't want to see a gap between your elbow and your body. This should be locked tight. So even though the body rotates, don't leave this arm behind. Make sure this is locked back on all three strikes on both sides. And back. Okay, good. So we're back to the first one, so the uluzuki. So now, particularly the senior grades, what I want to start seeing is this double head movement that Sensei Hocker was talking about. So as you start to drop, I feel like you're cocking this back. A little pull, if I exaggerate the movement, it's coming back, back, and going forward. Back, and going forward. And if you're struggling, that's actually something you can work on. So if you're finding this difficult, because it is complicated, Exaggerate this movement at the start. So you're pulling all of this back, you're contracting here, and then you're driving it forward. And then as you get more comfortable, you make it a bit smaller, and then very small. So if you're struggling with the more complicated stuff, guys, don't be afraid of doing it bigger, whilst it's easier slowly. Okay, so right leg in, Uluzuki. One. Okay, very good. So make sure this one, remember, low down. So the regular punch, first part, we have the Uluzuki here. And then Tati a little bit further, and then the full extension on the shocker. And back to, like I said, remember you're dropping, and if you want, you can use the drop to exaggerate the pull back on the hip, and then drive. One. And back two. So guys, so we're focusing on the drive and the use of the hips. Don't forget our fundamental points as well. So if someone then, the hikse hands came back and then you punched. So remember, everything should be moving together. Together, keep that coordination. So think about that now as well under Tati Suki. So you're dropping, you're preparing the hip, you're finishing side on driving in. Have that coordination. Tatsuzuki, one. Very good. And back two. 
Same with the left, so drop and drive. Okay, and we're still working on that full extension here, so I don't wanna see anyone's shoulder going forward now. Twist. And back to full punch, because I'm so key. And back to last one with the left. Okay, Marcus, make sure when your body turns, watch my head. Don't let your head go with it. So no matter what the upper body does, that front knee and your head must remain straight. Don't let it twist out. Keep that going forward. And back to. Okay. So first count, right leg, right arm, Uluzuki. One. Okay, so from here, you're gonna push through the back foot, through the back knee, through your backside, the left hip. Uluzuki with the left on the spot. Two. Yeah, so now we've rotated square. So we were side on with the right side. Push. And back to. It's now left side. So we've still got the drop. We've still got the drive. And twist in left side, left leg. One. Then don't move your legs. So we've got our left arm forward, left leg in front. Reverse. Two. And back three. Okay, so we're adding one. Okay, guys. So now it's the tatty zuki. So the same start as before. Drop, drive, right side in. One. Don't move your legs. Reverse. Two. And back three. Left side in. So bend, drive, hit with the left. One. Right side, reverse, two. And back, three. Then the third and final one, the full punch, drop, drive, extend, one. Back side, remember, don't move your legs, drive through the back hip, full reverse punch, two. And back, three. And the left side, left leg in, one. Reverse punch, two. And back three. Okay, guys, we're gonna do it one more time to those three counts and then we're gonna start speeding up. So remember the points, we're dropping and driving forward. As we make the first hits, hips and chest going in. So as we drop, we prepare this hip and then send it in. Then this hip's already forward, so we've got to use that then for the second hip. So hip, 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 not just the arms. Drive, drive. So by three counts, right side, right arm hitting, Uluzuki, one. Don't move your legs, reverse, two. And back, three. Left side, in, one. Okay, one more point again for the CDs, but low grades work on this as well. As I hit with my back hip, don't allow your weight to come back. So the feeling should always be forward. So not backwards from here. Make sure the weight is still going forward as you make the second hit. Two. And back three. Yeah, so you always want the weight to be going forward when you're hitting, guys. You don't want to hit something and be falling away, going in. So the same with the tatty, you drop, drive from every prepare this hip and waiting on the strike. One. On the spot, two. And back three. Left, one. Reverse, two. And back three. And last one, Kazami, one. Yaksuki, two. And back three. And then last one, start with the left side. One. Two. And back three. 
Second one, double. Tati Suki. Remember, not just the arms. Drive, drive. Hip, hip. Okay, back to hip, hip. So particularly as we go faster, guys, don't shortcut. Not small. Big, 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 big. Suki, Giyaki Suki. Full rotation. Full rotation. Remember, keeping that head and that knee still. Weight going forward. One. Okay, so remember, it's double over Zuki, double Tatsuki, and then Kazamazuki, Gyakuzuki. Right, left, right, left, and right, left. So one count, two techniques. Let's start adding a bit of speed. Now remember, don't topple, drop, and drive forward. Urozuki, ready? One. Okay, good. So remember this technique now. Should be the Ulazuki, upcut, going up. So still hitting with the two big knuckles, going up into the target. This way. And back to, same with the left, so drop, double. And back to, now the same with the Tatsuzuki, so drop, double hit. So now the hand should be this way, Tatsuki. Again, still hitting with the two big knuckles going in. So from here, say, remember the Urozuki goes out this way. Ura. Tati, about three quarters of the way through the punch, hitting this way, still hitting with the two big knuckles. And then the full range of motion again, still hit with the two big knuckles. Ura, Tati, and then Chokuzuki. And back to Sign from Yoi. Double Ura, and back. Double Ura, and back. Double Tassi, and back. Double Tassi, and back. Kazamizuki Gyak, and back. Kazami Gyak, and back. So you're going to do all six. So it's one, two, slowly back. One, two, and then slowly back. Excellent technique, very fast and the attitude that brings it all together. So last one now, use Kiaki Can, all six. <laughs> yes, very good. Okay, so there, there, there are different ways to deliver each one from this particular one that we've been working on. Like, so we've been going, if we're stepping forward with the right side, punching with the right arm, we've been working on contracting this side, contracting, and then throwing that side forward. Yeah, because the, the rotation is all okay. about sending the body weight forward. That's why, that's why we rotate, we don't just twist. It's about sending the weight forward, about sending the weight forward. So as long as the weight is going in, in, I can focus on using the right. Or sometimes when you come in with the Oizuki, you hold this side back, hold it back, hold it back, and then you snap it in as well. So it depends on your target, it depends on your distance, it depends on the technique. It depends what you're doing. With the, the lead arm though, Sensei, just the, the, what, the main front hip. Yes. I know, I know, oh, sorry, I don't know your name. BB, uh, you're, what you're saying is, do you, do, you, do you use the the other hip when you're stepping with the right side, say, and punching with the right arm, aren't you? So what I'm saying, Sensi, is you drive the right hip forward when you throw the right punch, and then you made the yeah, point yeah. when the foot lands, you whip the hips back. Do you whip the hips back by trying to draw the right hip back, or do you, do you think about firing your left hip forward at that point? On, on the hand me side facing position, I just yep. focus on firing the, the right stepping leg hip forward. Okay. And the left one back on that. Yeah. But when you're stationary, then that's when you use the double hips. I got you. And what, like Sensei said, if, se if Sensei does Oizuki now, watch Sensei's hips. He snaps his hips round. So on Oizuki, then he does use that back hip as well. Like you're saying, on, on the impact, that left hip, if he's punching with the right oizuki, because the body's square, showman will snap forward. 
yeah. yeah. But be, but oh. basically, whenever you you're just throwing this punch, sensei, you're if you're throwing your right arm out, just focus on driving the right hip in. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, Thank if you're sensei. side on, you're right, you're right. Yeah, correct. Oh, good, good question. And one of the best defenses blocks that I learned was this. So we use it in the catasochin, the sweeping block, and then when the arm would clatter in the side of your head and your arm was against your head, you'd be protected. We're just going to do a quick self-defense combination using this block and using those three strikes. So if you just have your left leg in front, guys, just a high stance. So watch what I do here. The left arm slips down the side of the head and it's touching. So don't have a gap here, or you'll end up knocking yourself out. So when they hit the arm, it will hit your head and knock you out. So you've got to be touching. So it's here. One. And back again. This time, when I slip my left arm, what will I do with my right? I'm going to strike Uruzuki, palm up. One. Make sure the head is close to the arm. The inside of the forearm is touching the side of the head. And back again. So this is the cover and this is the counter. One. And back again. Remember, I'm going to rotate the body and drive my right hip round. One. Make sure there's no gap here. No gap. And back. Two. Now, what will I do now? The right punching arm is going to come to the side of the head. And the left blocking arm is going to punch Tatazuki. As I rotate the body, and like BB said with the hip, I'm going to fire my left hip forward. Two. Once more, I'm going to slip the left arm down the side of my head. And this time, I'm going to punch straight punch, full punch with the right. Three. Okay, so left arm, guys. Left arm, cover, Urazuki. One. Right arm covers. Tatazuki, two. Left arm covers, straight punch, three. And back again. So as I slip the left arm, my body rotates, one. No gap here, guys, no gap. As I change arms, Tatazuki, two. And I rotate the body, hand me. As I slip the left arm, straight punch, three. Alive. We're having all these technical issues. I do apologize, guys. Come on. So from here, look. All one count slowly. One. So watch what I do with these arms, guys. I keep them close. Everything's close, look. Three. Very good. Very good. Four. First, one count, just a block and Uruzuki. Are you ready? First count, one. Next one, two. And the final one, three. And back, Kamai. Shoulders relaxed. 
One. Body square. Then side on. Two. Pull on. Three. Come on. Now nice and easy. One. Very good. Excellent. Come on. Nice and relaxed, guys. Two. No gap. No gap between the arm and the head. Three. Okay, so these, these combinations is more self-defense. So you're covering. This is the best block I've ever learned when someone's swinging. So try and practice this block. Keep the head close to the arm and try and practice simultaneous block and counter. So they're together. So they're together. Okay, rather than a delay. You want to hit them quick, hit them fast, hit them sharp. Okay, everyone's finished. Like we did the other week, we're going to be working on Tian Li Dan, Red Belt Kata. Today, we're just going to work on the first six movements, working on the principles and the fundamentals that we've covered in the basic and with the self defense sequence that Sensei Haku's just been working on. So, Kata Hian Li Dan. Please go. Break. Hian Li Dan. And starting position. So though, again, the focus is going to be on the hips and the chest and the arms. Remember that first movement. When you drop into the back stance, the weight goes straight down. Remember, it doesn't go into the middle. You don't go forward and then rock back. Try and keep that right foot completely still and drop down. At the same time, you're blocking up. One. Okay, good. So let's just check that arm position, guys. So remember the left arm, so this is my left arm in front, the shoulder and the elbow are on the same line. And the fist is going directly up from the elbow with a straight wrist. So it's not maybe something like this where it's crooked or the wrist is bent. Make sure this is straight and the fist directly above the elbow. At the same time, this is my right arm now. The wrist is in line with the forehead and my shoulders relax. So again, this is intense here. My wrist isn't bent. The straight arm, fist in line with the wrist. And back, yo. So there's no formal preparation with this first move, guys. So don't bring the arms back stiff or maybe make the shape and then just place them up. Just have a relaxed feeling in your arms. So allow the elbows to bend and then go straight up. So don't think of bring them back or tensing as you go. Relax, bend the elbows, and drop into your stance. One. Okay, very good. So think of this almost like Sensei Huggles just been working on this feeling here. 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 So the next movement. So again, I've got my left leg going to the left. My left arm is in front. Remember, the left hand will block in front of the head. The left will block. At the same time, the right, it's either an uruzuki, like we've worked on in the class, or it can be a tetsui, bottom fist, coming round to hit the rib. So it's either an uruzuki going forward or a tetsui coming round. But as you do that, remember, it's never just the arms. So my body is side on. It'll rotate to square, going to the left, keeping that back leg straight. So as my left arm covers, my right arm hits underneath, rotating the body, keeping the stance still. Two. Let's just try that one one more time. Everyone go back. So make sure this right arm, so I'm thinking about the right arm now, the hitting arm, don't allow it to do this great big unnecessary movement. Just from here, keep the elbow close and hit, or the Tetsui hit. Don't bring it back to go forward. Direct, direct, direct. So try one more from here. So the right arm, the hitting arm, keep it close and strike. 
Yeah, that's better, Marcus. Good. Bianca, watch that back knee. Yeah, so you want to keep that over your foot. So don't let it collapse. As the body rotates, don't let that back knee change. Try and keep it still. And now the body is twisted in. As you make the punch, the body twists back out. Lee! Okay, very good. Very good. So the arms are going to make the same position on the right as they were with the left. The most important thing here is that the body weight transfers from the right side over to the left side. So it's not just the feet. See how my weight's staying in the middle and my feet's just twisting. My weight is over my right side. As I make the fourth movement, my weight transfers over my left leg. Whoa! Okay, so now you've got your right leg forward, facing the right side in back stance. Left hand again. The arm is straight, wrist in line with the front of the forehead, and it's the right arm, shoulder to elbow, fist above the elbow, so right angle. And back to the left chokuzuki. So let's try that one, one more time. Okay, so again, with this preparation, if I exaggerate, I don't want to see the arms going all the way that way to then come back up. I don't want to see them make the shape and then go up rigidly. Just allow the elbows to relax. Relax and up direct. Whoa! Okay, so now remember that weight is over the left leg. So here we have that block and strike again. So remember, it's the right arm now that covers. So the right hand comes to the neck, to the neck at the same time, the left. Remember, it's either that Tetsui, bottom fist, or Urizuki, like an uppercut. Keep the arm close, don't allow it to come out, and rotate that body and hit. Two. Rob, can you get your left side in a bit more? No, 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 watch, so watch my body. Twist it in as much as you can. Like you're getting your left shoulder going forward. Yeah, other way, other way. Yep, 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 yeah. So as much as you can, Rob, try and get that rotation. Okay. And remember, so that right hand now, right hand should be right by your neck. So it's not in front, right hand by your neck. And punch out. Three. And back to the start of the kata. So we're only working on these first six moves today, guys. I know a lot of you know the whole kata. Really focusing on these first six moves. So the first movement. Remember the first point? You drop. Not to the middle. Bend. And block up. One. Okay. So now check that arm position that we talked about, the position of the left, the position of the right. Next movement, remember, we have that full rotation. We keep the right leg still, we block and strike. Keep the right arm close, not out, close. So the left hand's by the neck, left hand by the neck, right arm out. Punch. Hey! Yeah, Isaac, very good. And everyone just check. Remember one of the points we made in the basic, making sure there's not a gap between your hikite hand, particularly the elbow and your body. So I don't see anyone stood down like this. Keep that look back. So bend, bend. Remember the weight's got to transfer, pull, and block up. Run! Block and strike, rotate the body. Two. So again, make sure this left side is in now. So I've got my right leg forward and I've thought about rotating my left side in. And then right side in on your punch. Three. Yeah, that's it, baby, good. And everyone just check the position 
of this punching arm. So the regular Chokazuki, you remember you aim for your solar plexus. It's the same line here. So don't be too high with this punch. Below the shoulder. In line for your solar plexus. And back. Okay, first move. Position of the legs, how you drop, position of the arms. One. Okay, so we've been talking a lot today about the double hip. So even though it's counted as two separate movements, you actually have a double hip with the next two strikes. So use this to prepare the hip for the hit. So as, well, as much as using the right hip for the strike, you can also use this to drive the strike off the left. So keep the stand still, block strike and then punch. Both, 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 both. Rob. Yep, that's it. Yeah, so doing both, in and out. And then rotates. So the same. In and out. In and out. Use this to drive that. Yeah, very good, Marcus. And back. Last time to count. Drop and block. Bang! So remember the body must rotate in and out. Keep that stand still. Okay, good. So remember, use the hips. So I don't want you to think about moving your feet. You pull the right hip, drive the left hip, rotate the body. Bang! In, in, keep that leg still. In and out. Yeah, very good. And back to the start. Okay. So guys, to finish the class, I want you to do that sequence three times on your own. The first time, just do it light. Just do it light and make sure everything is correct, the step, the stance, the hands position, the rotation, the drive, how you transfer your weight, how you prepare, and everything. Then the second time, a little bit lighter, and as well as the technique you work on the stop, and the flow, stop, flow, and then the last one, very fast. So you set yourself, you prepare, and you step and block and stop, and then it, then twist, then it. So three times, first one, light for technique, Second time, light, and get that nice, smooth rotation. Then the last one, very fast. In your own time. 